Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you guys um, a quick and easy way to change hardware color. Um, here are two hinges that we had off of a piece of furniture. They're actually quite cool hinges, but as you can see, they look pretty outdated and they did on the furniture. So, all we're gonna do is take this little Gildings Wax brush, um, I think they cost like $1.45, they're awesome, and then some Gilding Wax. Let's see if I can get the name in there. This is the kind I have in the color tin. Uh, why I like this color so much is because it's not quite shiny like chrome. It's got a little bit of a tan texture to it, or tan color to it, and so it just doesn't look quite so um, cheap is actually kind of a thing. So what you do is you just put a teeny, teeny, teeny bit, see if I can get this in there, teeny, teeny little bit on your brush, and you just kind of swirl it all around, get it in there, and it will wipe off pretty easily for about 24 hours, but if you just let it dry and don't mess with it, when you come back later, you'll have perfectly looking hardware that's in a whole other color. And this comes in, of course, uh, lots of different shades of golds and silvers and tins and coppers and a color called Florentine. But you can see here how easy that was for me to cover those hinges. And now I have a tin or a brush chrome or silver kind of one and then the original one. So I'll show you again, truly, I mean, this stuff, it's about, I think, $27 a jar, but it lasts forever. Um, I've only used just the very tip of what's in there, and I've done tons of th stuff. So again, let's see if I can get it without blurring. Just get the teeniest amount on your, jar, on your brush, and you just kind of work it around and see how it just changes it miraculously. And this can be used on furniture too. It doesn't have to be just for hardware. Um, I've painted drawers with this stuff. Um, you can do accent little lines and pieces. It's just a really easy, beautiful metallic. Um, the only trick I know to it if you're painting it on furniture is that it is a wax, so it is your last step. You would put all your clear waxes, um, any dark wax, any black wax, any white wax you wanted to use first and this would be your very last thing. See how quick and easily that's changing with just such a little bit, oops, sorry, just such a little bit of gilding wax there. Anyway, just my little tip for the day. I'm working on a dresser and was with two in this, thought everyone might wanna see. Um, have a good day, let me know if you have any questions. And of course, you can get this stuff at the store. Um, I'm not sure if it's online yet. I need to check on that. But just give me a call if you have questions or message me or text me. Have a wonderful day.